In this video we will briefly introduce the different types of complementary and alternative therapies available. In this video we will briefly introduce the different types of complementary and alternative therapies available. They can be broadly divided into six groups, namely traditional alternative medicine, body, diet and herbs, external energy, mind and senses. 1. Traditional alternative medicine. This group includes the more mainstream and accepted forms of therapy which have been practiced worldwide for centuries. Traditional alternative medicine includes acupuncture, Ayurveda, homeopathy, naturopathy and traditional Chinese medicine. Acupuncture Acupuncture involves inserting very fine needles into different parts of the body, called acupoints. It works by stimulating the acupoints which are located in the meridians or channels. There are 14 main meridians, along which are the acupoints, of which there are several hundred. Very fine needles are quickly inserted into various points of the body and are stimulated, normally by the practitioner gently twiddling the needles. This creates a momentary sensation called Dachi which stimulates nerves and muscles which release natural pain-relieving chemicals. Acupuncture is based on the belief that health problems arise when energy qi or qi, becomes blocked. It aims to unblock the energy channels to restore the flow of qi. During the centuries of clinical practice and research, the functions and clinical effectiveness of each acupoint, or combinations of points, in treating different diseases have been studied in detail. In recent years these actions have been verified by modern scientific research. Acupuncture is mainly used for headaches or chronic pain, but it also helps to relieve symptoms of depression and anxiety. Ayurveda Ayurveda means, the science of life, in Sanskrit and is thought to be the oldest healing science. It originated in India more than 5,000 years ago and is often called the, mother of all healing. The principles of many of the natural healing systems now familiar in the West have their roots in Ayurveda, including homeopathy and polarity therapy. Ayurveda uses medicines made from plants and minerals to restore balance in the body. Ayurvedic medicine also includes massage and panchakarma, therapies that aim to get rid of toxins in the body using massage and herbal oils. Homeopathy Homeopathy has been practiced worldwide for over 250 years. It is gentle and rarely causes side effects. Homeopathy is a natural form of medicine used to treat both acute and chronic conditions. It is based on the principle of, like cures like. In other words, a substance taken in small amounts will cure the same symptoms it causes if taken in large amounts. For example, a patient suffering from hay fever may benefit from the homeopathic remedy Allium Sepa, onion, because it produces similar symptoms, such as watery eyes or runny nose. Homeopathic medicines, known as remedies, are made from substances designed to help stimulate the body's healing ability. Remedies are prepared, or potentized, using a process of repeated dilution and succussion, vigorous shaking. Homeopaths believe that the more a substance is diluted, the more effective it will be, and the less likely it will cause any unwanted side effects. As well as asking about your symptoms, a homeopath will be interested in you as an individual and the unique way in which your symptoms affect you. As well as your current symptoms, a homeopath will discuss your lifestyle, medical history and state of mind before prescribing the appropriate homeopathic medicine. Homeopathic medicines are made from small amounts of natural substances such as plants and minerals. Prepared in licensed laboratories, they are usually taken as a tablet but are also available as liquids, powders and creams. Naturopathy Naturopathic medicine is a system that uses natural remedies to help the body heal itself. It embraces many therapies, including herbs, massage, acupuncture, exercise, and nutritional counseling. 
some of the treatments are hundreds of years old. Naturopathy combines traditional treatments with modern science. The goal of naturopathic medicine is to treat the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. It also aims to heal the root causes of an illness, not just stop the symptoms. A naturopathic doctor may spend one to two hours examining you. He'll ask questions about your health history, stress levels, and lifestyle habits. He may order lab tests. Afterwards, he'll discuss your personal health plan. Naturopathic medicine focuses on education and prevention. So your doctor may give you diet, exercise, or stress management tips. He may use complementary medicine, such as homeopathy, herbal medicine and acupuncture in addition to naturopathic treatments. He may also use touch, such as massage and pressure, to create balance in your body. This is called naturopathic manipulative therapy. Traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM. Traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, is based on more than 3,500 years of Chinese medical practice. It aims to rebalance the body's energy systems and it includes herbal medicine, acupuncture, cupping therapy, gua sha, massage, tuina, bone setter, dai da, qi gong and dietary therapy. In some practices, modern Chinese medicine is a blend of TCM and Western medicine. Chinese herbal medicine. This involves the use of natural plants, minerals and even small amounts of animal products. Each herb has its own specific characteristics and particular medical use to treat various diseases, rectifying the overactivity of yin and yang, and helping to restore the body's normal physiological functions. Tuina Tuina is a Chinese therapeutic massage closely related to acupuncture in its use of the meridian system. It is effective for treating a similar range of health problems, especially musculoskeletal conditions and some internal conditions such as abdominal and digestive disorders. Tuina is regarded alongside herbal medicine and acupuncture as one of the fundamental arts of traditional Chinese medicine. It is primarily focused on the meridians and points where qi gathers and can be easily manipulated. It is thought that the Tuina massage affects not only the physical body but also the qi body, the network of meridians and points, and the mental body, emotions, thoughts and spiritual facilities. Since both physical and mental health are dependent on a smooth and abundant flow of qi, massage can effectively affect all three aspects. 2. Body. Touch has been used in medicine since the early days of medical care. Healing by touch is based on the idea that illness or injury in one area of the body can affect all parts of the body. With manual manipulation the other parts can be brought back to optimum health. The body can fully focus on healing at the site of injury or illness. Examples of body therapies include chiropractic and osteopathic medicine, massage, body movement therapies, tai chi and yoga. Chiropractic and osteopathic medicine. Chiropractors and osteopaths both agree that proper alignment and function of the bones, muscles and tendons is very important to health. Chiropractors generally focus on spinal manipulation techniques, while osteopaths include soft tissue massage and movement in addition to the clicking, joint manipulation, known as high-velocity thrust, used by chiropractors. Osteopaths are concerned with joints and bones across the entire body, including the bones in the skull, whilst chiropractors only focus on the spine. Chiropractic care is concerned with treating the neuromusculoskeletal system and traditionally assumes that vertebral subluxation interferes with the body's innate intelligence. Osteopathy treats and prevents health problems using movement, stretching and massage based on the concept that the well-being of an individual is dependent upon the harmonious alignment and functioning of bones, muscles, ligaments and connective tissue. Using massage, physical manipulation, stretching and massage osteopaths increase joint mobility, relieve muscle tension and increase blood flow to tissues to enhance the body's own healing mechanisms. Although most people associate chiropractic and osteopathic treatment with back and neck pain, these manipulative therapies have also been applied to a surprisingly long list of ailments including digestive conditions, headaches, asthma and insomnia. Massage. 
Massage uses touch in a sensitive and respectful way, taking account of physical symptoms, well-being, and your lifestyle. There are lots of different types of massage therapy, such as shiatsu, Indian head massage and aromatherapy massage. Body movement therapies. Movement therapy refers to a broad range of Eastern and Western movement approaches used to promote physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. The physical benefits of movement therapy include greater ease and range of movement, increased balance, strength and flexibility, improved muscle tone and coordination, joint resiliency, cardiovascular conditioning, stimulation of circulation, prevention of injuries, greater longevity, pain relief, and relief of rheumatic, neurological and spinal disorders, stress and respiratory disorders. Movement therapy can also be used as a meditation practice to quiet the mind, foster self-knowledge and increase awareness. In addition, movement therapy is beneficial in alleviating emotional distress that is expressed through the body. These conditions include eating disorders and anxiety attacks. Since movements are related to thoughts and feelings, movement therapy can also bring about changes in attitude and emotions. People report an increase in self-esteem and self-image. Eastern movement therapies, such as yoga, qigong, and tai chi began as spiritual or self-defense practices and evolved into healing therapies. In China, Taoist monks learned to use specific breathing and movement patterns in order to promote mental clarity, physical strength and support their practice of meditation. These practices, later known as Qigong and Tai Chi, eventually became recognized as ways to increase health and prolong life. Tai Chi. This is an art embracing the mind, body and spirit which originated in ancient China. Tai Chi is one of the most effective exercises for health of mind and body. Although an art with great depth of knowledge and skill it can be easily learned and soon delivers its health benefits. For many it continues as a lifetime journey. The essential principles include mind integrated with the body, control of movements and breathing, generating internal energy, mindfulness, song, loosening, and jing, serenity. The ultimate purpose of Tai Chi is to cultivate the Qi, or life energy, within us to flow smoothly and powerfully throughout the body. Total harmony of the inner and outer self comes from the integration of mind and body, empowered through healthy Qi through the practice of Tai Chi. Tai Chi is aesthetically pleasing, easy and enjoyable to practice. It can be a meditation and an integral exercise for all parts of the body and the mind. It brings tranquility and helps you think more clearly. Regular practice will bring better health and wellness. The flowing movements of Tai Chi contain much inner strength, like water flowing in a river. Beneath the tranquil surface there is a current with immense power, the power for healing and wellness. With consistent practice, people will be able to feel the internal energy qi, convert it to internal force jing, and use it to generate more internal energy. This...